My next guest is a comedian who performs regularly at the Comedy Cellar at Caroline's here in New York City. Uh, please welcome the very funny Mike DiStefano. How you doing, everybody? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Oh, I found a dead guy the other day. Yeah, he was just laying there on the street. I kicked him. I, you dead? Dead. I called 911. I said, hello, there's a dead guy on 13th Street. The lady said, what do you mean, dead? I said, well, you know how you and I are talking right now and breathing? He's not doing those things. He's not going to make the picnic on Sunday. Another time I found 20 bucks on the sidewalk. What a good feeling. When I pick it up, I'm thrilled. I'm like, I found 20 bucks. There's a homeless guy sleeping three feet away. Ruined the whole experience. <laughs> I'm thinking he should have found it, you know? It's not fair. So I woke him up. I said, hey, buddy, you should have found this. Pay attention. <laughs> okay. I went to Catholic school. That's why I'm a Buddhist. <laughs> I still haven't met anybody my age who said, yeah, Catholic school, man, that was great. Helped me out. <laughs> Just hasn't happened. Yeah. They scream at you. You walk, Jesus died for your sins. You're like, holy crap, I'm seven. <laughs> Some guy's dead because of me already. <laughs> then the priest says, don't touch your penis. You'll go directly to hell. Let Father Flanagan touch it for you. Come here. <laughs> Old Father Flanagan won't go to hell. He'll just go to another parish. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> All right. Make up your mind, America. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'm not too good expressing my emotions. To, I didn't even know I had emotions. You know, my girlfriend, uh, a couple months ago, said, how do you feel? I said, well, I'm hungry. <laughs> she said, no, I mean inside. I'm, yeah, where would you think I'd be hungry? Outside? <laughs> I'm uh, deep down inside. I'm hungry. And she said, we need couples counseling. That's like uh, spending money before you break up. <laughs> You give a stranger $120, and then you, you leave each other. Um, so we went, and the guy says, uh, you know, in your own words, explain what your goals are for therapy. And she starts with all the girl stuff. You know, I would like us to be connected and be one, yet separate, be able to communicate without even talking. And then he said, well, what about you, Mike? I said, I would like you to get her to stop breaking my balls. <laughs> How much do you think that'll cost? I'll pay extra. Thank you. You guys are starting to come around. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, I've been doing comedy for a while. Now, a few months ago, I was performing at a comedy festival, and a comedy agent, you know, came up to me and said, Dude, I love your act. Here's my card. Send me a tape. I said, Well, you just saw it a second ago. Why don't you just remember how funny it was? In fact, write it down. Write it down. That guy, Mike DiStefano, is really funny, and this is my handwriting. So I was there. <laughs> then he said, well, what about a resume? You got a resume? And I was like, are you kidding me? I curse at strangers. <laughs> do you want me to write that down for you? <laughs> he said, what'd you do before comedy? I said, I was a drug counselor. He said, what about before that? I said, I was a drug addict. <laughs> he said, how about before that? I said, I was 12. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. A few years before that, Jesus died for my sins. <laughs> it's called a callback. <laughs> so I went into a gay bar accidentally again. <laughs> this big African American black man came up to me and wanted to do horrible, terrible things to my ass. <laughs> He said, I want to do horrible, terrible things to your ass, man. That's how I knew. <laughs> so I was honest with the guy. I said, sir, I'm trying to overcome racism and homophobia. <laughs> but not at the same time. That's just too much. Let me have sex with a white guy. If I like it, I'll holler at you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so Thank much. You. Mikey Stefano, everybody, we'll take a break.
Stop fun a dime every time. That's our show. We do want to thank our guest, Mike DiStefano. Very funny. Thanks thank for doing it. Thank you very much, yes, Carl. you're a good man. Our thanks to Bill Maher for being here. Our thanks to Jim Cramer for being here. Of course, Max Weinberg and the Max Weinberg 7. Did you remember the last call with Carson Daly? And uh, we'll see you on Monday. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. -bye. <laughs>